This morning's job is going to be to put a new driveway entrance in. So I've got a uh, 24 inch, 40 foot long galvanized culvert is what the uh, state requires. We got to put, they come out here and actually tell you where you can put it and they put the marks for you. That's going to be the center of the drive and then the ends just has like a 10 foot radius that curves in. So it'll kind of, it tapers down to 20 feet and then runs straight in there. But this is going to be a, uh, now a new construction home site but they got to get the driveway entrance in first because you can barely see a stake right out there is where the house is going to sit i believe but uh i got to jump in the excavator strip the grass off the ditch does drain that way it's a little bit tough to tell just because it looks like they got the tractor down in there when it was soft so i just need to kind of strip all the grass off get it cleaned up and then uh we'll get the pipe set in there and then they actually have to come by and inspect the placement of the pipe and then we can start uh backfilling it and for the state we use just rocky red clay that's what they'll want around the pipe we'll pack it in i got the compaction wheel with me and then we'll just top coat everything with like three inch or one inch base when it's all said and done and then we'll just have to put a three to one slope uh on the sides of the pipe and they actually want dirt on that so they can i guess kind of mow around it or whatnot but uh, dad's on his way with the pipe and then he'll run and get a load of fill i'll stay here and strip the grass off get it placed and uh, we'll see if we can't get this done so yeah it's extremely windy again and we have rain coming in i feel like i almost start every video off saying that anymore but it's supposed to be like 78 today and then we got some pretty good severe storms rolling in tonight so i don't know if we'll get the rock on here we're about 45 minutes from the quarry but we're gonna try to get uh get the pipe placed and get the fill in here at least.
Well, my placement passed inspection, so I kind of tried to line it up, so I told them, you can see where the ditch has actually got more shape to it, and then over the years, I guess it's probably just been soft, so uh, kind of got it lined up where it should line back up with everything else. It's actually nine feet, two and a half inches off the road at both ends, so I don't know how that ever happens, but now uh, I'm gonna go get a load of fill. Dad's already taken off to get one. We'll just kind of have to back the trucks up as close as we can out the edge of the road and dump it and then just use the excavator to roll it over there and then put the Felco compaction wheel on. So then that way we got two loads here and then I'll just stay here and work on that. Uh, and then I'm gonna take some of that dirt and mud and junk and use it on my sides and make my three in one slopes. So I gotta do a three in one and then put some seed and straw, which I don't know, hopefully the straw will stay long enough. I can uh, click a picture and send to them, but. <laughs> And then I think we're going to come back and instead of buying the flares, just actually cut the pipe on kind of a 45. There's one down here where they just were let them just kind of flare the ends of the pipe. Because like I said, this is the 10 foot radius. So it's going to be 10 feet and tie in just past the pipe because this is actually the edge of the actual driveway to the house. So we'll have some room there to cut, I don't know, probably 24 inches or 20 inches, just kind of cut down and do like a 45 and then get our three in one and then pass the pipe and right there in the machine that's just going to be the width of the driveway entrance there so yeah let's go drop the trailer and pick up a load of fill
I don't know how much footage of that I got. I looked over my camera was laying on the ground, but we're pretty much rust in for now. Got one load of three inch on here, four loads of fill. I'm gonna try to top coat it with a load of one inch. Uh, so I got it set about where it needs to be. It's probably gonna settle down there some. I've still got to get back and kind of cut these flare or cut the cut flares in the ends of the pipes. And then uh, I'm supposed to seed and straw it, but I didn't see the point in the uh, <laughs> uh, straw with the wind. So I just kind of slicked that. Like I said, the rain is rapidly approaching, so it's pretty roughed in, but we're going to kind of see what rain we get and how bad it's going to rut it up and fill this ditch up tonight. And then uh, maybe tomorrow we'll be back with the one inch and we'll take the probably the concrete saw maybe and kind of cut these pipes and then I'll try to throw a little seat and straw out if I can get this dressed up enough. And if not, at least uh, this will work. They can start uh, driving in and out and packing this down. But we're definitely going to have to do a little something uh, with the driveway going to this house because this is going to be just like it is in Diamond. It's just pumping so bad. So we're either going to have to cut some of this out and put fill in here or maybe just roll some fabric out right on top of the grass and just start dumping rock on it and bridge over it. But we're going to get loaded up tonight and see if we can't beat this rain. Well, we got this one wrapped up. It uh, may not be the best finish work, but uh, like an inch and a half of rain and trying to slop mud back on the sides. And then now they tell you, you don't have to put like the flares on the end of there, but then they want you to come back and try to cut those on kind of a three to one slope. Got a load of one inch on here, tracked it down. I'm sure it's gonna settle some. And uh, yeah, then I had to cut these ends and Seed and straw, it's what they want, so it's not the uh, prettiest, but I think when this stuff kind of takes off, it uh, won't look too bad, but as you can tell, I mean, the dish isn't super maintained, so. But at least now their uh, driveway entrance is in. Uh, I will be coming back and wanting to build the house. I don't even know if you can see it. There's just a pink flag right out there. It's about where it's gonna sit, so I got about a 200 foot long driveway to cut in and I believe it curves 
and the garage is kind of going to be on that far end of that back side of that house so but i already talked to him we're definitely going to have to uh either cut some of this stuff out or just strip off some of the grass and bring in the fabric and a lot of three inch because it's going to be like we just ran into down there in diamond where it's just nothing but good dirt and it's just going to pump and be soft and there's nothing solid so which makes me kind of wonder about digging a crawl space out for a house out there so uh yeah we'll see but we're chained down i'm gonna make the 45 minute drive back to the shop and dry off so catch you guys tomorrow.